and as you have entrusted your servant Francis with the office of shepherd, grant him always salvation and protection together with the flock entrusted to his care. A prayer for the new pope offered at the Cathedral of St. Matthew the Apostle in Washington. What a glorious thing, what a wonderful thing. First American pope. Uh, he's the first pope from the southern hemisphere. Uh, the first Jesuit as a pope. As Archbishop of Buenos Aires, Jorge Bergoglio was known for his humility. It said he cooked his own food and rode public buses. Across Washington, the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception was draped in the Vatican's colors. And Reverend Mark Morozowicz said the Pope's new name carries meaning. By choosing the name of Francis, Francis I, you know, Francis was a, a man very committed to prayer and to poverty. And as well, we know that Francis sought to reform the church. Francis referred to himself in his first papal speech as the choice from the end of the earth. But his selection is not as radical as it may seem, says Chester Gillis, a dean at Georgetown University, a Jesuit institution. As much as he's in Latin America and in Buenos Aires, he, know, he knows Rome and he's on lots of the congregations. He's fluent in Italian. He's there a lot. He knows the players and they know who he is. So he's not some unknown quantity, which people might think. He expects Francis will be a pope in the mold of his predecessors. Theologically conservative, uh, doctrinally conservative, no question. I don't see any changes there. But his election is a recognition by a historically European church that its future is where most of the world's 1.2 billion Catholics are in the Southern Hemisphere. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Washington.